Hi everyone, I'm Ahmed Munir. I'm extremely delighted and honored to be interviewing today body language expert and best-selling author Mark Bowden. Hi Mark, how are you today? Hi there, Ahmed, I'm, I'm really well, thank you. Mark, I have to admit that I have been influenced by your work. Uh, the first time I came across one of your videos on YouTube was around three to four years ago. Uh, I was preparing for my first communication skills training back then. And this video was an interview with Dr. Carl Moore on nonverbal communication. The knowledge you shared regarding hand gestures and how it impacts the light of the eyes and the overall energy level of the speaker and the audience, it really resonated with me. And back then I decided to share your tips in my training with the attendees and it made a huge difference. And ever since I've been consuming more and more of your content. So, Mark, uh, what inspired you to become a trainer in the first place, and how did your training and speaking career start? Yeah, so I was, uh, for, for many, many years before I started training people in business and in politics, I was training performers, actors, directors of, of stage and TV and film in how to use their body language to portray certain characteristics and engage audiences and influence and persuade audiences and tell stories with pictures essentially, um, that, that art of non-verbal, visual, physical theatre. And so it wasn't a big leap for me to take these skills and techniques over to business and politics, who had never really met these ideas before. I was very skilled in the area of performance already, very niched in that area, and highly regarded there. And so when I shifted these ideas across to uh, business and politics, Really, there, was, there were very few people who had those skills and nobody had moved those skills across to the area of business. So it was a unique proposition and a unique set of skills. Uh, and, and also, I, I just really enjoy helping people get better at their communication. So um, I think everything can be learned. Everything is trainable. Um, and I just really want to be part of people getting better at the things they need to get better at in order to make their life more uh, more powerful for them. So, you know, that's been my, I guess, passion is the area of nonverbal communication and how powerful it is in helping people communicate. And it's really that that's driven me to keep on training people, keep on producing the best content I can and keep on distributing that. Amazing, amazing. And, and how were you able to market for yourself as a trainer in your early days in the field? It was really about getting on YouTube in the early days. I started about um, 10, 11 years ago now, training people in business and politics. I think maybe a couple, one or, or a couple of years into that, YouTube started. And I was one of the first people that I knew, if not the first person I knew, to start putting videos on YouTube. And I just get my content up there in any way possible to let people see, literally see what I was doing and, uh, and distribute the content for free to as many people as, as possible and it worked really well for me. Then, then happened uh, maybe about a year later, Google bought YouTube and it meant that all those videos that I'd put up there went to the top of the Google ranking. So pretty much if you Googled body language, um, there, there I was, right at the top of the rankings with video, and, and nobody else really had that going for them. So, um, you know, part of the, of the marketing strategy in hindsight was to get really good Google rankings early on by using video. Uh, and, and that was a, a conscious decision that I understood the way information was going, is that uh, information, everybody, all information was going to be fairly freely available and I should start giving away that information, knowing that uh, many people will want to buy more of it. They'll want to buy more in depth. They'll want to buy a more personal experience of it. They'll want to buy being with you face to face, one on one. And anybody who doesn't want to buy that, they're not really your customers, but they might know somebody who is. And the more people that know about you, then the more people that will know about you. So I made a conscious decision to market through social media by really distributing content for free. Interesting, very interesting. Uh, Mark, what do you think 
makes what what makes someone an expert in a specific area or topic. So now you are a communication expert and the body language expert. What what can make someone an expert in a specific area? Is it reading, studying, uh, acquiring certificates, or what do you think? Yeah, I think what makes you a real expert is I think you've got to have read, obviously. I think you've got to have studied in some way, uh, not necessarily through the usual channels. You can study yourself. You don't need professors around you by any means, but that can be helpful as well. I think uh, experts have put a lot of time and effort into knowing as much as they can that's available to you out there, whether it's you know, showing up at colleges and universities or showing up at libraries or just getting on the internet every day and watching every video out there by any other expert you can find and reading their papers and their books. I think you have to do all of that as much as you can. And then on top of that, I think you have to come up with some new ideas. I think you have to bring something of a unique perspective together. I think you sometimes have to have taken ideas from other areas and put them together with the ideas that you've read about and come up with something new, uh, but most of all, something new and helpful, something that is um, very practical and gets a job done. So the experts that I like and the, and the reason I think, you know, maybe I'm seen as an expert and see myself as an expert is I've come up with some new models about nonverbal communication, some new ideas. And they're very practical models and they work really well and they get people the help and the results that they want. And that means people gravitate towards the work. They, they want to do the work because it's going to help them and it's going to help them quickly. And so they see value in it and often because of that value they, they call you an expert. So really it's just, it's just that, Ahmed. True, true, very true. Um, what are the key lessons you've learned throughout your journey, Mark, so far, that you consider as the key advices to share with aspiring young trainers? Yeah, I would say it's that original lesson of uh, don't protect your content. Uh, give away your best content. Give away your best work. Give it, give it to people for free. Because people need to get a taste of what it is that you do. And they can't do that. Less people can do that if you're always keeping the content to yourself and not distributing it to people. And understand that many people will take your content for free and they'll use it and they'll get a good result out of it and they'll never buy anything else off you. And that's okay. They were never really your customer in the first place. But some people will want a closer relationship with you. They'll want more. They'll want to get more in depth. They'll want to know how that content specifically applies to them or to their people they're leading or to them as leaders or salespeople or to their organization as a whole and they will be willing to pay for that and they'll be willing to pay you know a, a price that makes up for all the other people who got the, the content for free essentially so you know that one of the biggest things that I've learned is is give away your best content for free because it's great marketing to do that. Perfect. Uh, Mark, I cannot thank you enough for allocating the time to share your knowledge with us today. I've learned a lot already and I believe anyone listening to this has found it very beneficial. Thanks a lot, Mark. Yeah, lovely. Yeah, thanks, Ahmed, for, for having me uh, chat to you. Uh, if people want to know more and see what I do, then they just need to go along to www.truthplane.com T-R-U-T-H-P-L-A-N-E truthplane.com Perfect, perfect. Yeah, will do. Thank you. Thank you, Ahmed, and, and uh, great speaking with you. Keep in contact anytime you need me to, to chat. Uh, you know where I am. Sure, thanks, sir. Thank you so much. It's been a pleasure, and have a great day. Thank you. Yeah, have a great day yourself. Bye now. Bye.